Good uh, Ryzen everyone, uh, or uh, hello everyone. Uh, the Ryzen is uh, finally here, so I can uh, start a brand new PC build uh, in which I'm going to use a Gigabyte Gaming uh, uh, motherboard, a new power supply to feed all that power into my system because beside what you see here on uh, this uh, desk there are some other components like uh, hard drive SSDs and a video card which is uh, not here at the moment of course uh, here is the memory but the star of uh, this uh, review series is uh, the new CPU from AMD it's the Ryzen 7 uh, it's the box version which comes with uh, its own cooler which we are about to see uh, right away uh, I'm going to split uh, this uh, video review in several parts in the first part we are going to take a look at uh, these uh, brand new components uh, after that i'm going to do a quick install of the cpu memory cooler onto the motherboard and last but not least uh, we'll take a look into the uh, configuration utility for the motherboard install windows and then uh, give it some uh, good uh, benchmarks so I'm going to split this in uh, a few parts as I told you so let's begin let's take a look at the CPU how it looks how it feels let's uh, see the new cooler let me get something to open the box and that's more like it and I'm going to cut that steel and nice here's the CPU and it comes with a sticker and the cooler which looks very nice it comes with uh, thermal paste pre-applied It has some springs here which are really tough and that's about it it's not very heavy and in the box we get an additional cable which looks just like this we'll see what is this about all right so that was the cpu cooler let's see if we get something else in the box no just black cardboard nothing more so that was the cpu let's take a closer look at the cpu so in the box we get what looks to be the installation guide and it's useful because it shows us the new socket installation for M4 socket and how to install uh, the cooler and it also shows the optional cable that was in the box so on some motherboards you may need to use that and here's the CPU nice and shiny and lots of pins on uh, its back so this is the uh, basic model of uh, Ryzen 7 it's the cheapest version although it's still uh, with uh, 8 cores and uh, 16 threads so let's go further uh, this is the Corsair memory that I'm going to use let's take this out of the box also so we need to use this and it's a dual channel kit comes with nice uh, heat sinks to keep everything cool hopefully we should get some nice performance out of it the power supply it's the Zalman the 
100 watt power supply uh, you should uh, ignore uh, things like uh, dual uh, forward power supply because this is uh, nothing uh, serious this is just poor marketing it's uh, something that is found on almost all power supplies it's a thing uh, about its construction so nothing serious it's like saying it runs on electricity so let's see the power supply and we get a bunch of cables it's not modular it's a budget power supply but it should uh, do just fine because the Ryzen has a low power consumption I'm not going to do a very powerful build it's more of a budget build so the power supply comes with a manual we get some specifications here the cables are described zip ties and four screws to match it onto the computer case and of course a power cable for it let's move on now to the motherboard last but not least this should be the most important thing in uh, this build because all the components will connect to it and uh, this is uh, a B350 chipset it's not the X version but uh, it should be okay and it comes with all the things that are needed like USB 3.1 it has uh, an updated uh, audio codec if you will not uh, want to get a separate uh, high performance sound card uh, it has some uh, uh, RGB LEDs that uh, light up the circuit board it also supports connecting your uh, LED strip to the motherboard and use uh, its application R RGB fusion and you can uh, control that and of course it has a lot of configuration dual BIOS and so on you can do profiles for overclocking and things like that but enough with the talk let's take a closer look to the motherboard and here is it has some nice heat sinks over the chipset it has metal shielding around uh, the PCI Express ports here's the AM4 new socket the chokes are uh, not exposed they have covers which is a good thing it should suppress noise on the connectivity side we have uh, 7.1 audio we have optical output we have of course an integrated uh, network uh, connector USB 3.1 ports and it also has a DVI and HDMI output but this uh, motherboard does not have a onboard video it will rely on a processor with a video integrated but the Ryzen 7 series does not have uh, that so you need to wait for other um, Ryzen processors with built-in video if you want to use that option let's see what else we get in the box so we get a gigabyte sticker and we get some headers for organizing wires like uh, power uh, power connector reset switch so on we get some uh, cables for connecting hard drives and so on we get this torn manual for installing the CPU they were in a rush we get a header for connecting RGB light strips some other cables the shield for the computer case we do get a manual and a CD or DVD 
probably with the drivers, with the basic drivers and utilities. And that's about it. So this was uh, the first part, presenting you the components that I'm going to use in, uh, in uh, this build. Be sure to follow because uh, very soon I'm going to upload the second part where I'm going to install the components onto the motherboard and the motherboard will go into the computer case. Until next time, bye bye.